How's it going guys? I'm back with another video. This time I have four pickups to show y'all. Um, three of them are recent and one of them I've had for a while but I've been using it a lot lately so I figured I'd show y'all. Um, so first off, starting off easy, is a Vuja Day recycled plastic hoodie. Um, I've showed off the brown one, currently have that on right now, but this one is the light blue version. It almost looks gray and white pretty much in most lighting and in some lighting it has this super faint blue color. This was sold out last year whenever I tried to buy it but um, I think they did a restock recently. I don't know how recent it was. Super cool hoodie. If you don't know it's a standard fit hoodie with pockets on the side seam instead of a kangaroo pouch. It has a overlapped hood and for the most part it's pretty standard other than the fabric. This fabric is a recycled plastic and it's knitted together instead of like a fleece and or a uh, French terry. It has this sturdiness to it where it kind of keeps its shape for the most part. Super lightweight and kind of breathable material but really cool. Um, ribbing super nice as well it's made out of the same fabric but the way they stitched it together it almost looks like it was knitted together and like one whole piece really nice hoodie I just decided to pick it up in a different colorway this time around and on to the next <laughs> all right for the second piece another Vuja Day recycled plastic hoodie um, the reason I really just buy these pieces is because I, I really like the fabric for some reason. It, I just like sturdy like materials that can hold its shape. But um, this time it's a lot lighter weight fabric, a bit more see-through and more like for the spring summer nights than a uh, winter piece. It has this cropped kind of slimmer silhouette and again with the fabric it almost looks like it's one knitted piece at least on the sleeves um, but yeah has a regular kangaroo pouch this time around a YKK plastic zip and the tag inside is a black tag black Wuja Day tag I think it's worth the money but um, some other people don't really nice piece overall third piece is another hoodie this one is the one I've had for like two years or so, uh, maybe a bit older, but it's a Japanese brand called Silage or Silage, I don't know how they say it since uh, I think the creator's French. But this is a French terry hoodie and the cool thing about this material is that uh, woven throughout is this neon green fabric. So throughout the heather you could kind of see this neon fabric. This time the hoodie, it's it's pretty lightweight and it's oversized fit instead of a slimmer fit. Um, one cool detail is that the back, of, like the every back panel of this piece is a little bigger than the um, front panels. So it gives it this kind of weird, interesting fit to it. Not really too different, but um, it's nice. The bottom, as you can see, kind of cropped from the front and then a lot, a bit longer on the back has that detail. Regular drawstrings with metal tips and a regular hood. Nothing really too special other than fabric. Um, for the most part, clothes I buy is pretty much based around the fabric, I'd say, uh, and cut second as well maybe cut first and then fabric but um, I don't really care for graphics too much other than like maybe vintage tees or anything like that but super cool piece show y'all how that fits on body and on to the next and the last piece I have to show y'all are these Kiko Kostadinov pants this is from the recent collection fall winter 22 I got them at the SNL for a fairly good price. I think they're all sold out now. They might have a brown colorway, I think, but this one's the black colorway. Um, 
pretty cool pant, pretty oversized. I believe they call this the anthrax, anthrax pant. I'll have to check. But um, super cool fit, super cool construction that Kiko is known for. Um, it has a almost like a double waist situation, but these are pockets on the sides. Really nice. Um, this is a regular waist. It has two buttons. Um, I don't have that one buttoned up, and it has a Riri zipper on the inside. Uh, another nice detail with these pants is the kind of embellishments they have. The, they're kind of like rivets or studs on the pant. Uh, they have one on the pocket here and some throughout the knee. The knee is cut pretty, pretty cool. It has like this overlay on top, almost not really of a double knee, but it has nice stitching. It has two darts on each side to kind of taper it. It's not really tapered pant, but it's a lot narrower than the top. Super baggy. On the back, it has no pockets since these like waist pockets wrap around the whole side. I got these in a size 52. Usually I'm in between a 50 to a 52 in Kiko. Um, I'll probably just buy 52 since I've bought a couple pieces that, well just one piece that I bought a 50 in and they fit me well, and then I bought another piece in the 50 because the measurements looked right, right? But it fit, <laughs> it fit a little tight on me, so um, yeah. Uh, one thing also I didn't talk about the fabric. It's like this nice pleated fabric. Um, kind of looks like a Craig Green work jacket type of deal, but uh, with the stripes being a lot thinner. Super nice, super high quality as expected. Those are all the pickups I have for today, so I hope you all enjoy this video and like how they look on body. Celebrated its invention yeah. Confetti on the mattress I used to have those images oh, yeah. Tonight I came home They were just embers in the fire no. Along with my hard drive No, 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 no goodbye 